Hi, welcome to this tutorial on the Hugin Graphical User Interface. This tutorial covers how to build a simple Bayesian network and propagate evidence. The tutorial will use the restaurant base example. In restaurant base, we have two uh, chefs, Peter and Eric. Peter works six days a week, while Eric works uh, one day a week. These are the only chefs. In 90% of the cases, Peter's food is of high quality, while Eric's food is high quality in 50% of the cases. One evening, restaurant base serves an awful meal. And we would like to determine, using a Bayesian network model, whether or not it is fair to conclude that Eric prepared the food that evening. This is what the graphical user interface of uh, Hugin looks like when the software is launched. In the uh, restaurant base, we have uh, the hypothesis variable, which is the chef who prepared the food the evening we have an awful meal. And the evidence we uh, obtain is the uh, observation on the uh, awful meal. So we will uh, build a, a Bayesian network with two uh, nodes. In order to create a node, we select the discrete uh, chance tool here in the toolbar, click the left mouse button, go to the canvas and click the left mouse button once again. Then a node with name C1 is created. So we would like to change the name of the node. So we select the node, right click and say uh, open uh, node properties. Here we can define properties of the node. For now, we will uh, only change uh, the name. And we will create a second node for the taste. Now we have the two uh, nodes, but we also need to define the states, which we can do either in the node properties, but we can also do it directly in the table of the node. To do that, we select the node, right click and say uh, open tables. And you can see by default, the node has two states. If we want more states, we press plus. If we want less, we press minus. We have the sh two chefs, which are uh, Peter, and uh, Eric, and they are the only two chefs at the restaurant base. So these are the states we need for the chef variable. We do the same for the taste node, select the node, uh, open tables. And again, we only want two uh, states. One is to reflect that we had an, uh, a full meal, and the other one to reflect that we had a, a nice or good uh, meal. Now we created the nodes and uh, states, and we would like to add some uh, structure to the model. To do that, we use the, the link tool. Again, we press the left mouse button on the toolbar here. We press the left uh, mouse button on the parent and drag to the child. And then we uh, release the left mouse button. And we have uh, created the, the structure of the model. Now that we have defined the, the structure of the model, we need to set the parameters of the model that are the uh, entries into the conditional probability distributions. So we have one distribution for, for chef, the prior on chef, and we have one conditional of taste uh, given the chef. So let's select uh, the distribution for, for chef, and um, let's take a look at the, uh, the story. So Peter uh, are the, and Eric are the chefs. Peter works six days a week while Eric works uh, one day a week. So Peter uh, works uh, six days out of uh, seven, and Eric uh, works uh, one day out of seven. So these should be uh, probabilities and, and sum to one. But Hugin will uh, normalize the numbers uh, once the model is uh, compiled and we go from edit mode to run mode. So we can put the numbers uh, like this, Peter six and Eric uh, one reflecting that these are the only chefs and they don't work on the same uh, day. Next, we have to specify the conditional probability distribution of uh, taste given chef. <clears throat> and we have two conditional distributions. Here we have one uh, for chef equal uh, Peter, and here we have one for chef uh, equal Eric. So uh, for the distribution uh, of uh, taste given chef equal Peter, 
we can look at the story again. In 90% of the cases, Peter's food is of high quality. So uh, chef uh, equal Peter, uh, good, must have a probability of uh, 90. And therefore, uh, the probability of awful must be uh, 10%. Next, we need to set the distribution for Eric, and Eric's food is high quality in 50% of the cases. So either we can leave the numbers as they are, and they will be normalized once we compile the model, or we can, we can type in uh, 0.5 and uh, 0.5. Now we have set the conditional distributions and on the taste and the, the prior on chef. With a fully specified model, we are now ready to compile the model. Hugin has two modes, one here when we, where we built the model, which is the edit mode, and another one uh, where we run and interact with the model. To go from edit mode to run mode, we press the, the lightning button, and this is where the model is uh, compiled into a secondary computational structure. When we are in run mode, we have the list of nodes here on the, on the left, and we can see our nodes or network here on the right. We can select a, a node and right click and uh, select to open monitor window. The monitor window shows the probability distribution of uh, the associated node. We can open the, the monitor for, for taste also. We can see now the, the prior distributions of the variables in, in the model. In order to uh, insert evidence, we double click on, uh, on the corresponding state. In the example, we have taste uh, uh, awful, so uh, I would double click uh, the, ta uh, the, the value awful in the variable taste. Once we do that, we can see uh, the bar here becomes red to reflect uh, evidence inserted. And we also have here an indication next to the note that this note uh, contains uh, evidence. We also see that uh, once we enter the evidence, uh, the distribution of uh, chef is uh, updated. And now we can see, uh, to answer the question of, of the story, is it fair to conclude that Eric prepared the, the food that evening when we received an, an awful meal? According to the model, uh, it, it is not fair to conclude that Eric prepared the food because it's still more likely that uh, Peter prepared the food. So that is the answer to our question. In order to remove the evidence and uh, use the model again, we press the, this uh, button here, which uh, initializes the tables of the model by removing uh, all evidence and uh, recomputing the priors. If you want to go back and uh, change the model, we press uh, the pencil button here, and then we are back to edit mode. To return to run mode, we press the lightning button. This ends the tutorial. If you want to watch or read other tutorials on the Hugin software, then you are more than welcome to visit our website www.hugin.com.